As defined by Getty EDU, balance is the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, textures, and space. If the design were a scale, these elements would be balanced to make the design feel stable. In symmetrical balance, the elements used on this one side of the design are similar to those on the other side. In asymmetrical balance, the sides are different, but still look balanced. The reason why balance is important in a work is because without it, a piece feels incomplete. Having a work of art feel stable makes it more appealing to viewers, so today we will be discussing the two main types of balance which are symmetrical and asymmetrical. An example of a piece that is symmetrically balanced is the well-known piece The Last Supper created by Leonardo da Vinci. In this piece, we see Jesus seated in the center of two groups of his disciples and it is in one point perspective. If we break it down into its most basic components, despite having some asymmetrical qualities amongst the figures, what we have here is a central figure with two relatively equal groups on each side contained in a symmetrical room. This kind of balance aids the piece by bringing the focus inwards towards the central figure of Jesus and helps to give the piece a more formal and elegant feeling. As stated, asymmetrical balance occurs when negative space in a piece is not evenly distributed or when the two sides of a piece may not look the same but are still balanced. This kind of balance is more natural and aids the realism of a piece. A good example of asymmetrical balance is the artwork of the contemporary mixed media artist Swoon. Swoon's appropriate use of negative and positive space in this piece has helped to create an interesting yet stable composition. If we break it down into its basic parts, this piece would look something like this, with the negative and positive space being almost perfectly divided diagonally. A way to throw off the asymmetrical balance would be if we were to adjust the scale of the subject to be much smaller, which would create too much negative space, or we could throw it off by adjusting the position of the subject to be off to the side, which would put too much weight on the bottom left corner. As it is, Swoon's piece has just the right amount of negative to positive space for her composition. We hope you have enjoyed this look into the principle of design balance. Creating balance or a purposeful lack thereof in your work is an important part of advancing your technique and creating something amazing. The challenge for this week's video is to create one drawing with asymmetrical balance and another with symmetrical balance. To share your work with us, feel free to tag us or shoot us an email at lexingtonartleague at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and look out for next week's segment on shape and form.